All right, well, hello from the Grand Teton National Park. Mikhail and I rolled in here last night, like what, 6.30, you think? Yeah. About 6.30 p.m. We came from Green River. We did two days there, one day, one night, just Mikhail and I, and then we spent the next day with Dylan and did some really cool stuff. Bertha went on some awesome trails, and then we drove up to the Tetons. It was about three hour, three and a half hour drive from the Green River area, so. We pulled in, we were looking for just some dispersed camping, it didn't work out, and Michaela found this campsite online, and it's actually in the national park, so it's pretty cool to stay here. Um, got a cool view, actually, from our picnic table. You can see the tips there, it's pretty sweet. So now I don't know what we're gonna get into, um, we're just gonna go explore, so try to film as much as possible. We finally got to charge up the cameras. That's why I didn't film us coming in or anything like that. The camera was on like 8%. So we charged up, we're just pretty much packed up and we're about to hit the road. So our second little pull off here in the Teton National Park. I don't even know the name of this location, but it is very iconic. There's like all these little chipmunks and squirrel things running around, jumping around. But we got this cool barn with the amazing view of the Grand Tetons. I think it's pretty sweet here. So Mikhail and I are gonna drive around a little bit longer and uh, do some more sightseeing. Maybe tomorrow we'll wake up early and do a sunrise or something. Be pretty sweet. All right, so Mikhail and I made it to this place called Jenny Lake here in the Grand Tetons, and it's right behind a visitor center. It's not like it's anything crazy to get to, paved paths. We get over there and there's people swimming, so you already know how to switch it up into the bathing suit. It's hot out here. It's been hot all day. Mikhail has been struggling in the heat. We set up a little temporary, well, it's our campsite, but we kind of left uh, our canopy there and stuff because we're gonna be returning pretty much after this. Probably take some more photos on the drive back. We should have some better lighting depending on how long we're here. But I'm assuming this lake's gonna be freezing. It looks to be crystal clear, but I mean, I'm in the Teton, so might as well swim. Well, nice little dip in the lake. It was super crystal clear and Nice and chilly, but it was definitely worth it. What do you think? It felt so good. I yeah. I got my hair wet. Yeah, it was super nice. Now I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna drive around, maybe stop at a couple of other cool little scenic things, take some pictures, and then head back to our campsite in the uh, in, on Shadow Mountain in the uh, National Forest. Make some din din, um, some rice, some soup, and then just enjoy the rest of the night. Maybe do some reading catch up on some stuff, some little photo editing. All right, we did get to see some bison, which was awesome. And now we just made it back to camp. We left up our little canopy thing. Gonna give some power to the van here, let some things charge up, about to make some dinner. It's almost, uh, it's about quarter after 7 p.m. right now. And we're gonna be getting up pretty early tomorrow to go sightseeing and possibly swim in the lake again. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, see what's going on. But yeah, it's beautiful up here in the Bridger Teton National Forest. It's... We, we don't have quite a view of anything, but... Well, the Tetons are right there and there's a little trail that goes up here. I don't know if it's like an animal trail, but I might walk, walk up it to see what it does and try to do some cool star astro photography with the van tonight, maybe. What do you think about the sunset right now? It's crazy. This is absolutely unreal. Yeah. We're 
like standing like right in front of it. All right, what's up guys? So as you can tell, it's not five o'clock in the morning. We did wake up at 5 a.m., but Michaela had a migraine. So we went back to bed. Now it's almost 11 o'clock. We've been up for a little bit. Now it's a late start, so who knows? I don't know, maybe we'll stay here again tonight. See how we're feeling. We're gonna go check things out. Um, this place is pretty big. So we'll see what kind of photos we can grab and stuff. At least we got to see a pretty epic sunset last night. And we'll see what we get into today. Maybe some more swimming. I think it's supposed to be pretty warm out. So, you know, things happen. Um, and if we don't stay another night, I know when we hang out with Corey, um, he'll definitely be down to do some stuff and show us some stuff early in the morning. Hello from Shadow Mountain, yet again, different spot. The first night Michaela and I stayed at, I think, the second spot on the way up the mountain. And today I think we're at spot 18. We got in pretty late last night. We went into Jackson for some dinner um, after swimming at Jenny Lake again. And then we tried this place called the National Elk Refuge, but the road was way too crazy for the van to go up. And apparently it got worse and worse. And it was like a nine mile road. So we came back to Shadow Mountain last minute hoping to get the spot we were in. Somebody had just pulled in and was setting up. So we kept driving and every single spot was taken until we came across this spot, which I think is 18. Beautiful view. Now that we can see it during the day. Not the best conditions outside, but it's super nice out here. It's absolutely beautiful. Just did some drone stuff since we're in the national forest, not in the national park. Uh, I checked to make sure and I was clear for takeoff. And you can kind of see the Tetons in the distance super epic so don't know what Michaela and I are to get in, into today I believe we are going to my friend's house over in Victor Idaho um, we also have dinner this week with some people we met which might be on the channel so we'll have to show you guys that but yeah I'm gonna have Michaela film me driving out of here too some of the uh, especially getting into the site it was a little bit treacherous but um, not bad at all, Bertha loves it. She's happy, we're happy. All right, well, we just got gas, um, and now we're heading towards Victor, Idaho. We have about 45 minute drive. Apparently it's an, an epic view. So I'm gonna try to have Miss Mac Mills over here film uh, when we're going up over this pass. So yeah, we're ready to rock. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Well, we made it to Victor, Idaho. Uh, we're waiting for my buddy to get off work, so we're just gonna go check out a couple uh, shops and then head over to uh, Corey's house and uh, see what's going on, meet the dog, meet everybody, and have a good time. So anything you want to add there, Michaela? It's a cute little town. It is, it is very cool. Very it kind of reminds me of Custer, slightly. Okay. But not a whole lot. Kind of the vibe. I got you. Yeah, so we're gonna go check it out, and uh, then we're gonna go meet up with Corey and see what happens. Yeah, good water. Thank you. This is the Teton Creek, right? Teton River. Teton River, okay. Teton River. Snap. You guys see all the bird nests? Yeah, they look like beehives to me. Yeah. How's the water, Michaela? It feels good. Yeah. Yeah, if you fall in. It's probably cold. Yes, it'll be cold. Alright, I'm gonna try not to fall in at all. Got a dry bag though, so we should be good with the camera. How's that feeling? Just watch it, y'all. After a few days in the Tetons, which was absolutely amazing, and let me tell you, I think the Grand Teton National Park is my favorite national park that I have been to so far on this trip. Now we are one month into the trip, so I cannot wait to see where else we end up. But after the Grand Tetons, we crossed 
over the Teton Pass out of Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and into Idaho to visit my friend Corey and Alana. They live in Victor, Idaho, and that's where Michaela and I have been for the past week. I have not filmed a whole lot of what's been going on here. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. We've done some epic hikes, went to Craters of the Moon, and Corey took me fly fishing, and we did some paddle boarding, so I don't have a whole lot of footage. So what you see is what you get, but we are heading to Montana after this video is posted. So by the time you guys see this, we are on our way to Montana. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit that bell notification button and drop a like and a comment and I'll see you in the next video.